One day, I was in Hong Kong in a flea market. I saw these ID bracelets and I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if somebody brought out something more glamorous? And I closed my eyes and I visualized and I said it would be a blue onyx inlaid ID bracelet and it would have on the top gold screws and the yellow gold one would have white diamonds and then there would be a silver one with lapis and on the top there would be gold bezels and yellow diamonds. So the minute I got to, back to New York, I went on a holy grail in search of some of the finest artisans who would help and teach me the process and give me the best quality I could find. I happen to be a Reiki master, and I take that for free into the hospitals. And then one day I thought, well, I hope I'm not too superficial, but I would love to do it on my jewelry. So I Reiki all my stones, which are all natural. I only work with natural stones and sapphires and diamonds. I would describe my jewelry as rock and roll chic jewels for women and secure men because I think it transcends and I think the ID bracelet, I mean it's from Wall Street, the city in London or wherever my jewels are, it's amazing the cross-section.